scientists at the U.S. Uh, Army's top virus research lab are working on vaccines and treatments. And our David Martin paid a visit to Fort Detrick in Maryland and saw firsthand the complexities of testing for that virus. While the rest of the country is trying to wipe out the coronavirus, this Army lab is actually growing it. We're trying to grow it so we can wipe it out. Dr. Kathleen Gibson says you have to have samples of the actual virus to detect its presence in all those nasal swabs being collected. When you see what it takes to analyze them, you understand why testing has been so slow. From swab to tube to tube to plate to machine. It's very labor intensive just getting from the swab to a purified sample that we can test in this plate takes about an hour to an hour and a half. This analyzer can handle 27 at a time, but that process takes another hour and a half. Here's what the results look like. So this green line is the threshold. That means that the virus is detectable in a high enough concentration that we can confidently call it positive. But with the nation's governors pleading for more testing, none of these analyzers one, two, three, four, or these smaller portable ones are currently in use. Fort Detrick has not been asked to test civilians. David Martin, CBS News, Fort Detrick, Maryland.